I am your host, Diana Pearson, and welcome to The Schedule. Before we kick off the show, subscribe and follow us so you can get all the latest information about what is going on in boxing and what we are up to. After starting the year off with what was once a normal month of boxing, we kick off February in high gear, and apparently the new normal. February alone has 41 different fight nights, and with all the different networks and streaming services, fight fans could be spending over $60 a month in subscriptions. Great for boxing heads everywhere, or is it? Although we are getting a ton of fights, it seems that the talent pool is a little diluted with less than average fight matchups. So let's see how these networks and streaming wars shake out. Eventually, we should get to some good fights, and still counting down to DAZN having a good matchup. Because of the way that last month ended, we ended up giving you the first weekend of February on the last week of January's show. So this month, we start off on February 8th. We kick off this week's boxing card in Philly with the Philly Special. Hometown prospect 17-0 Christian Carto takes on Mexican Southpaw Victor Ruiz. Raging Bay Promotions has seven fights on the card and there's no broadcast information on this fight card. Maybe they should reach out to GSS about broadcasting their fights. Just a thought. We head back to the cold weather for a Detroit showdown between Jarrigo Great Lakes King O'Quinn versus Mexican Alex Chino Rangel. This looks like a tough test for the Great Lakes King as he is taking on a tough 17-8-4 experienced fighter. Jarrigo is looking to put on a show at the Motor City Casino and there is no broadcast information for this fight. Another potential best in boxing broadcast location? Possiblemente. The next night, Gervonta Davis steps back into the ring against Abner, I mean Hugo Ruiz, Abner Mendes was injured in camp while training with trainer Robert Garcia and had to drop out of this fight. That didn't stop the PBC from finding a replacement rather quickly in Hugo Ruiz. Now, we're not really expecting much out of this fight, being that Hugo is coming up in weight to fight the bigger Gervonta. We believe that Gervonta is an extremely talented fighter, but we get to see him take on any serious challengers. One trick promoters do when building a fighter is create mismatches with name fighters, but those fighters are often smaller and coming up in weight. This gives the fighter being built an advantage before they even step into the ring. From the La Hoya to Mayweather, this is a tactic that promoters do and have been doing for years. Also on the Showtime broadcast, Mario Barrios versus Richard Zamora and Javier Fortuna versus Sharif Boger. In Indio, California, DAZN will showcase two title fights in the main and co-main event. In the main event, Alberto Machado defends his WBA junior featherweight title against Andrew Cancio. In the co-main event, Ray Vargas defends his WBC junior featherweight title against Franklin Manzanilla. It seems like they're setting up a unification bout between the winner of both fights. So DAZN, great job on matching up these fights. This card is stacked with seven more fights, so if you can get out to Indio to watch the fights, you'll definitely get your money's worth. On an extremely active night of fights, Humberto Rubacalva takes on Jonathan Arturo Torres on Roy Engelbrecht card fight night at the Garden Casino. For the last fight card of the night, we head up north to Canada for the Cody Crawley vs. Stuart McLellan fight. On February 10th, ESPN and Top Rank kick off the night with Jose Ramirez and Jose Cepeda. Ramirez puts his WBO junior welterweight title on the line, and we're expecting a great fight between these two. This will be Ramirez's second fight with new trainer Robert Garcia, and it will be Cepeda's second chance at a title. Cepeda's a tough experienced fighter, and it should be an all-action fight. Also on the card, Raimundo Beltran takes on Hiroki Okada. Now, Beltran is looking to get back to a title shot after losing his belt last year. It's a stat card, so tune in to ESPN and ESPN Plus for all of the fight action. There are 12 fight cards going on this weekend, so there is plenty of fight action. And nothing says Valentine's Day like men beating the hell out of each other. No, but seriously, if your lady or your honey likes live fights, there are plenty of date nights available this weekend. Kicking off the weekend, we start with our own show, Best in Boxing. While other platforms only give you one option for viewing, we give you all the options for viewing. And we will be streaming like always through Fight Hub TV on YouTube, but we will also be streaming to our Facebook page, GSS Streaming, bestinboxing.com, our Twitter page, Best in Boxing via Periscope, Twitch, and on Vimeo. We're still exploring more options to deliver our content to fight fans, but that is plenty for now. Now, on to the fight card. On our fight card, we have the return of Dominique Dalton 
And Dalton last fought in April 2018 on our card, and he is looking to get back on track. Dominique just recently signed a two-fight deal with Global Sports Streaming as his promoter, PBC, gave Dalton permission to fight on Best in Boxing. Dalton is looking to make a run at a title, and two fights with us seems like a great start on his journey. Also on the card, we have the return of Kevin Torres. Returning after his loss, Kevin is looking to get back to his winning ways. We're also excited to have on the card Jorge Tito Ruiz, and we're hoping that this is the first of many that Tito will be fighting with us. Next up is ESPN out of Hinkley, Minnesota. Rob Brandt defends his WBA regular middleweight title against Kashan Vasan Garab. Robert will be defending his title for the first time after his upset win against champion Ryota Murata. This is a broadcast triple header, but with 12 fights on the card, you may want to brave the freezing temperatures to watch all 12. I'll be watching the triple header from the coziness of my casita. Joshua Greer versus Giovanni Scaner and Michaela Mayer versus Yareli Larios will be on the broadcast along with the brand fight. We're staying in the freezing Midwest with Showtime out of Mulvane, Kansas. Headlining the show, Sir Goner Gassev takes on Michael Fox. Also on the card, Jesse Angel Hernandez will be fighting Thomas Ward. On the next night, we get out of the cold and back to the warm weather in Los Angeles for the return of Leo Santa Cruz against Rafael Rivera. This is Leo's first fight on the new PBC Fox deal, so it'll be great for him to showcase his talent to a much larger audience. Also on the card, Omar Figueroa Jr. and John Molina Jr. go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This card is stacked with fights, so if you're in the Los Angeles area, it may be a good date night or a night out with friends. We stay in California for Adam Lopez's fight versus Aldimar Silva in Studio City, California. Adam Lopez, son of great boxer and Olympic silver medalist Hector Lopez, made his pro debut along with his brother Hector Lopez Jr. on our show in Best in Boxing. Both brothers seem to enjoy the spotlight as most of their fights have been broadcast. Lopez and Silva will be headlining Bash Boxing's card with seven more fights on the card. We stay in the warm weather in St. Petersburg, Florida with Roy Jones Jr. Promotions on UFC Fight Pass. RJJ Promotions is keeping active now that they have their deal in place, so look forward to a lot of fight cards out of RJJ. In the main event, William Silva will fight Juan Ramon Solis. We still have six more fight cards on the 16th, and because of time, we're just going to list them out here so we can move on with the show. Hey, no, here. <laughs> Well, January seemed like a normal month of fights, but it seems like February is more the norm. So fight fans, get ready for a lot of fight action coming your way in 2019. Let's see. Oh, I got good lighting here. Let's see. Hey, we're on. Ay, ay. Perdón, perdón, perdón. All right. On February 22nd, Telemundo kicks off the weekend with a fight between Puerto Rican Yomara Ramon and Manuel Mendez. On February 23rd, Anthony Durrell and Avni Yidirim fight for the vacant WBC super middleweight title. Also on the card, Jamal James versus Jana Gonzalez, and both fights will be on Fox Sports 1. Next up, we head to Tijuana, Mexico for the fight between Brandon Rios and Humberto Soto. Now, there's just way too much that can be said about this matchup that DAZN is serving up to boxing fans. We understand that DAZN has a lot of dates to fill, but this fight is a real stretch. We wish both fighters good health and hope that they come out unharmed. Also on the card, Jose Quinero and Joel Cordoba rematch. Both fighters had a split decision draw the last time that they fought. In Lincoln, Rhode Island, Lou DiBella has Shelly Vincent taking on Edna Kiss. There's no broadcast information for this fight, so you may have to head to Rhode Island if you want to see this fight. Next, we are in Philly for a new boxing series at the Met called appropriately Met Philadelphia Boxing Series. In the main event, we have the battle of two undefeated prospects, Jeremy Cuevas versus Steven Ortiz in an eight round bout. There are nine bouts on the card and no broadcast information. If you want to watch this fight, you'll have to head to the Met and not a bad place to watch a boxing fight. We are not done yet with February 23rd. We have two more fight cards across the pond in England. First, we are in London for the James DeGale versus Chris Eubanks Jr. fight. This fight should be a good one as both of these fighters have done a lot of trash talking over social media for years. This fight will be on ITV in Europe and is part of the deal between Heyman Sports and PBC. Looks like Heyman is expanding in his reach in the sport by working deals in Europe. We head to Maidstone, England for the Lenny Fuller versus Danny Little fight and we were unable to find any broadcast information for the card. <laughs> we 
The last five cards of the month are actually not on the weekend. On the 26th of February, five fans are in Tokyo, Japan for the WBO strawweight title between Filipino Vic Saludan versus Japanese Masataka Taniguchi. These little guys put on a hell of a show, so hopefully there's a way to watch the fight. This will be Saludan's third fight in Japan, so he's comfortable fighting in Masataka's backyard. On February 28th, Roy Jones Jr. Promotions is back on UFC's Fight Pass. It seems like UFC needs more traffic on Thursdays because most of RJJ's fights are on Thursday night. On the card from Toppenish, Washington. <laughs> Toppenish of all places. Anyway, back to the card. Ray Jimenez Jr. versus Luis Alberto Lopez. Thank you for tuning in this month for the schedule for all your fight schedule updates. We're here to serve you by bringing all the latest on boxing schedule, plus a little commentary from yours truly. Because we're here for you, we'd like to hear what you think. What would you like to see in the show? Are you a promoter that we missed and you want to see your fight publicized on the show? Let us know what you want to see by commenting below and be nice and keep it PG because I know people. I am your host, Diana Pearson. Thanks for watching. Until next month.